Good evening to you. Welcome to Tech Insights, and this is yours truly, Brian Cochran. And uh, oh. ah. good evening to you. Welcome to Tech Insights. Ooh, my monitor's on. Sorry about that. That's part of Tech Insights. How <laughs> we gonna go through how to do this? Anyway, uh, we are here gladly to uh, have a good time and teach you about. Technology, uh, how to stream, how to do audio, video, and all those wonderful things that I had up on the screen a second ago, and I'm excited to be with you. It's a new broadcast we just started, and um, um, we will be going through. Let me show you what we'll be going through. Let me put it up on the screen real quick, and then we'll get ourselves started in our today's lesson. Uh, there we go. All right. There we go. Tonight, we will be going through uh, video production. Uh, uh oh, why is it doing what it's doing? There we go. Uh, audio production, as I mentioned a little while ago, software solutions, and we'll be having interviews with great people that do great stuff in the tech industry. We'll be dealing with things inside and outside of the church. And um, I'm glad that you are a part of our broadcast today to learn more about tech. Last week, we started with um cameras and the reason i started there because um that's why i started I, I wanted to learn about cameras and how to use them in my broadcasting uh because i started off i started off with this i just talked about it last week i started with this little thing here which is a logitech uh 920 c920 and i i started as a as doing seminars and workshops with this and when I started streaming, before that I had a little camera that I was recording and then I would upload it a little bit later on. Um, but when I started working with um, streaming, I didn't know anything about what I know about today. So my goal is starting small, uh, starting at the beginning, giving you the basics of everything. We'll get, as our as our show progresses, then I'll get into the deeper things. But I, I think um, part, of my, part of my concept and idea in my life is help people get started in whatever it is, whatever it is that they're called to do. So anyway, if you look at this connection here, it's a USB. And so tonight we're going to talk about how to, let me, let me put it back up on the screen. Uh, here we go. There we go. One more. Oh, wrong way. There we go. I talked about me last week. I'll get into it a little bit later on. Um, there we go. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about how to get my camera into my computer, and it's going to be um, capture card basics. And what is a capture card? I'm glad you asked. So most cameras, I'll show you on this camera. This this camera is a prosumer camera, and and it has a a, a uh, HDI a H, excuse me HDMI out, and so it's wrong side. Um, you probably can't see it. I'll put it up kind of close to the screen, but um, it has an HDMI out. And so the HDMI out, it won't go into the computer by itself. And I know you say, oh, Brother Cochran, there's a HDMI on my on my laptop, and so I can't use that. No, that's an output. And what that means is it plugs into most 99.999% of your um, home-grade laptops will have a display port out that will take it from your laptop to hook it into a uh, monitor. And it won't go backwards. It won't go back in. It doesn't do back backwards and forwards. Um, I, 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 I'm a Mac person. And with my Mac, I have, you know, they have Thunderbolt. So with a Thunderbolt, it would do it. But I had to get a special adapter like this one. So that way I can go backwards and forwards. So I started with this one. And this would help me to take my HDMI camera like this one but that's smaller when i started what i showed you last week and so it's in here and converts oh i didn't bring it oh sorry it, it it has a thunderbolt out that plugs right into my mac and then i had some other cameras that that were on my pc side and so i got something like this called the cam link and the cam link was at the time really inexpensive when covid came out it uh, the price jumped and it became very expensive. They're hundred, they're right around one hundred twenty nine, one hundred thirty nine dollars for this. I think they they got the four K uh, version. This is the first version that they came out with. I've had this for 
probably six, seven years, something like that. But this is how I got it into uh, my PC. And then I also, and because I do installs, I found these less expensive ones that you can find on Amazon. Um, and this one, it has cam one because I have multiple cameras. We'll get it another time as well. But this one allowed me to to do the same thing, but for a whole lot less. It, 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 it works almost as well as this expensive one, but but um, it does have some limitations. But for the, for under fifty bucks, you can't go wrong. So you can get started with this, and as you grow your your um, in talent and in expertise, then you might want to jump up to something else. One of the other things that we do as well. So that's with the laptop, and there's also a way to do it on a regular computer as well. This is uh, a capture card for a um, home computer or personal computer. And this one, if you look here, it has four inputs. So this one allow four cameras for four camera shot. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit later with multi multiple cameras. But you can have a one port, but this is a special card that is the input versus the output that normally comes on a computer. So the input, you will put the, the this on this side here, which is your HDMI. It plugs directly into here or to plug into here or to plug into here and it'll make it into a USB like the Logitech C90 did. So that way, no matter if you've got a DSLR camera, if you have you know the more expensive cameras or less expensive cameras, it doesn't matter. It takes your signal, converts it into um, to USB to be able to plug it into your computer to be able to run it on the software if it's OBS or VMix or whatever software that you're using or Facebook Live or YouTube. It sees it as a webcam, and as a webcam, your software will pick it up and it will it will allow you to broadcast your camera whatever you're going to put in it. If it's like me now, it's me, and so it'll allow me to uh, allow you to use it to to your better to your betterment. And so, um, oh, I did that already. Ooh, this went fast. Uh, am I missing anything? Yeah, you need a converter. We talked about it a second ago. I'm almost done. Wow, this went really fast. I'm going to show you a diagram of how it works. Um, I talked about it, but I'm going to also show you how it, how it goes as well. All right. If you look at uh, this is using a, you know, a USB, one of the USBs that, that I showed you earlier. If you look from left to right, this is a basic camera input into your computer. You would put your camera depending on and see in the cool part or, or understand this. Different cameras have different adapters that go out out of the out of the camera. So some will have a mini HDMI uh, uh, a, and then a regular HDMI and then there's a micro um, HDMI. And there's also SDI, which is which is something on the professional side, which I don't want to go there. That's a, another conversation for another time. Most cameras, if you get to the pro grade cameras like this one here, this was like 20, this was like 24, 2500 bucks when it was new. Um, but it was still prosumer because it was using um, HDMI. Your professional cameras will either give you SDI or HDMI or one or the other, depending on what, what brand you're using. But anyway, get back to our, our, our diagram. So if you look here, if you're using a laptop, you will go from your camera or camcorder uh, into your capture card. So it captures the information, converts it into USB. You plug that HDMI into USB, and then it will send the signal to whatever software you're going to use. The next one I'm going to show you is what I showed you a little bit a little while ago as well. This one is the same concept, but using the the uh, home computer and then using this what I showed you, you know, showed you earlier. This one is same same concept. This would be you would insert your your capture card into because again it doesn't come standard on your computer. But what you would do is you would take that and install it onto your graphics card, and then it will pull in the signal. The same concept, either your camera or camcorder. It will go into your capture card, which is which is installed onto your computer and then it would stream out from there to whatever if it's facebook live youtube or whatever whatever software you're using in order to get to the internet in conclusion today depending on your budget depending on your expertise and how what you're going to use it for if it's multiple cameras or whatever you're able to use any of these based upon your budget and again 
how I operate, just so you know, is is I'm a I'm a budget friendly guy because most of us don't have the big budget to get started. And I don't want to scare you. The biggest thing I want you to stream. I want you to get up and get up fast. Learn from my mistakes. I'm going to be sharing a lot of my mistakes that I made, so that way you don't have to, and glean from what I've done, so that way you can grow faster. You can make a living like I do. Make a living doing streaming like i'm streaming now um being able to use this as to be able to get your message out to the world and so now that we're in the post so somewhat post COVID, don't don't give up and streaming is still it's still it's not going anywhere you know folks are not going back to business yet they're still you know you're still doing business you can take this now and do a combination of both and we'll get in a little bit more at another time as far as different ways that you can stream as well uh, I have a book that I wrote. Um, man, this is my number one bestseller, as a matter of fact. It's called Startup Guide to Internet Broadcasting. It takes you through all the steps on how to get up and running, um, all the buzzwords you hear for streaming, what software, what hardware. Um, it's a basic, basic, basic startup guide. Just the way I'm teaching now, very simple, simplistic way for you to be able to uh, get up and running in no time. Um, it's available on Amazon. And um, as you know, startup guide to internet broadcasting, it'll pop up on Amazon, or you can go to my personal website, BrianCochran.org, and you can purchase the book there. Otherwise, keep tuning in because I'm gonna go through everything anyway, um, as we're doing today. Because I, you know, again, I, 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 I love streaming, I love doing internet broadcasting, and I want to help you to do what I'm doing and be better than me. So, uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope something's been said or done to inspire you to get busy and be about uh, getting out and using tech to build your business and build your brand. This is Brian Cochran, and we will see you later. Our company is FedEx Incorporated. We do pro sound lighting and video. Our contact information is on the bottom of the screen. And again, we thank you again for being a part of us. You make you, you make it exciting for me to do what I'm doing because I love doing it, and and um, I guess I'm now a techie because I, I've been I've been told many 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 times that I'm a techie, so I, I I'm gonna go ahead and and run with it because that's who I am. So this is Tech Insights. Uh, we will see you very 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 soon. God bless you. Bye bye now.